Hey, what up, you guys? Welcome to a new video. I hope my fan isn't too loud for this video uh, because it's really, 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 really warm. And it got even hotter by, as you can see by the title, um, by a package from Lonnie Sewell, aka Crab Bag. Um, he told me a while ago that, it, that he wanted to send me some stuff, and I was like, uh, me? This is probably the smallest channel on the whole of YouTube. Um, so he told me like, yeah, I want to send you some stuff and this came in like the biggest box I've ever seen. And I already took the, out the vinyl, uh, the CD, sorry. Um, but yeah, let's go through the stuff he sent me. Um, he sent me a lot of Mark Riddick art stuff. He's um, what I'm going to do with this is um, get a, a picture frame or a poster frame and display every single bit of that in um, of Riddick art in that. By the way, this the horrendous post he sent in as well. Um, yeah, we have like a fold out poster of Feeded Zombie and I don't know what the other band is. So this is gonna get all displayed in a uh, poster frame. Some more really art stuff. And I don't know what this is, I guess it's like a small zine or something. Bleeds everything. Even more, Oop. true cold coffee, more really hard. I especially love this one, it's really cool. Feed it zombie, um, some more art from him, really fucking cool. So, um, even some more and some stickers from Magic Bullet Records as well and Dark Operative um, there. Magic Bullet more Magic Bullet stuff uh, Bleach Everything so um, that's like the first the non-music stuff he sent me um, and he also sent me a shirt and I believe it's from Bucket of Afterbirth, which is freaking awesome. I believe that's a label or something, uh, but the design looks sick. Then I've got a, um, a, a beanie from this figured, which is really awesome and beautiful to look at. Uh, it's too hot to wear right now, but either way. Uh, then he added some patches, an Oort patch, and a meat fist back patch, which looks really cool. Talking about meat fist, this is the tape he sent me from meat fist called Face Melter. And this is a very limited one as far as I can see. Uh, it's limited to 16 copies. Uh, this is Toxic Adventure, as you can see, and signed as well. I haven't had the time to check all of this out um, because it's... I'm tired after work and it's like blistering heat and I just want to do nothing. Even not listening to me as so. This is the a very cool looking tape, very limited tape. So I am going to listen to every single bit of this. And the next one is a compilation of a, I want to say, a Slovakian black metal and NS black metal. If I can recall correctly, white tape. 
or a whole discography of a band called Fenaday. I don't know exactly. I haven't done my research. Very good. Very cool images of the bands. I want to say that it's like a compilation of different bands from Slovakia. So really, really cool. Uh, then he even sent a Dutch uh, black metal project to me that I absolutely know, and I've got like the other uh, tape from him. Uh, this is news alles anders uh, with. Het eeuwige leven. It's like depressive raw black metal um, released by Haydn's Heart, which you have probably heard me talk about. Also, a white tape. Thank you very much, man. So, the next up are the um, seven inches. Let's do that. I'm just grabbing it random. He sent me four. Um, I don't know any of these, uh, so I've, I'm in for a treat. This is the split between Colosseum and Doom Riders. And it's a fold out cover like this. And this is a black vinyl, but the labels are pretty cool as well. And I want to say that this is a little bit of sludge or stoner metal or something like that in the vein of. So, can't wait to show, to listen to that. And then we have Iris of Gemini Hexagram 45. I have heard him uh, speak of this in one of his videos. Um, so, there's a vague memory of it, uh, but I haven't checked it out then. But now I have to check it out because I own some stuff from the band. And this came on a very nice purple 7 inch vinyl, which looks insane. Like a melted bowling ball or something. Sorry, I have to drink. keep hydrated especially now because it's freaking warm it's not even midday yet so it's getting warmer and, even, and it's even getting to 40 degrees celsius in the netherlands next week so fuck me um this is another Idols of gemini release um called, called carthage i believe this uh, this has two songs on it, which is really cool. It's the front, the back. This came with a download code, which I will add in my own giveaway bag that I'm going to do very soon. And this came on a very clear vinyl as well. Um, so, if you want to know, I'm leaving this... Um, Thursday for Berlin for the weekend uh, with my father and I really need that because I haven't been outside of the Netherlands for over two and a half years I want to say so I really need my uh, holiday um, then I'll be uploading frequently as well uh, this is the Mark Riddick project Feed It Zombie Split with Nun Slaughter some grindy old school death metal, everybody knows non slaughter by now, but Vita Zombie is fairly unknown in the genre I want to say. Really love the artwork. Came with a mini poster as well. Looks amazing. This will be also in the, uh, the frame I'll be making from it. This is the Vita Zombie side and the non slaughter side so um, I may not sound like oh my god this is all so awesome because I just woke up and I had a horrible night of sleep well sleep 
couldn't sleep, had a weird ass dream. But either way, so far so good. I really gonna spend all of the um, stuff I want to spend today. So. Um, so he sent me a couple of vinyl as well. And the first is, I want to say, Sort or Sorg. Sorg. And if this ain't black metal, nothing will be. So, got a little bit dented in the mail, but. I don't give a damn about that, so... Uh, didn't came with any... Oh yeah, didn't... Did came with a small 7 inch, which is cool. And it's on a, I want to say, puke colored vinyl with black splatter in it. Didn't know what the 8, but hey. Um, this is also Magic Bullet release, as far as I can remember. Yes, from 2011. And the main vinyl is on a beautiful splatter vinyl, which is really, really good. And I think this is going to be the first thing I'll be spinning today. So, I'm really looking forward to that. And So that was the first one, uh, then we have a split between Rot in Hell with Psy Warfare, I want to say, yeah, just like that. And this looks like me, like Rancor or like uh, sludgy stuff, came with it in a sheet, and he sent me the clear hazy vinyl it's really cool I don't know if you can see it but it has like a small hazy swirl in it which is really really cool and that's a shame that I haven't checked it out but I really wanted to make the video um, as fast as possible for Lonnie because it's the least thing he deserves after giving me all of this for free. And I even offered him to pay the shipping, but he didn't want that, so. Then this is a split between Balboa and Plague Sermon, also from Magic Bullet Records. Haven't got a clue what this is. I am going to find out. But this is on a brown final brownish vinyl or a burnt orange how they um, told me when I bought the exact same color on a Bellwitch record so it's burnt or scorched orange or something like that and he sent me ancient wisdom with sacrificial and I have heard him talk about this on his channel as well. And I believe I checked it out as well. And I can't remember it anyway. But I know I've checked it out. And it came on a red wine colored vinyl. Which is awesome. So. This after the Sword Sorg record. Is going to be the second one that I'm going to check out. Um, normally I do some edits around this but um, my PC has been lacking speed so much lately so sorry that I can't do that right now but you have to stick through this up on this then this one is NY64 or New York 64 I don't know if that's the correct one haven't got a clue what this is either, but this came on a blue vinyl. It looks 
uh, ambience-ish like as far as I can recall which is cool so I'm dying to check it out as well so those were the vinyl which are a lot um, and then he also sent me some American candy and stuff like that I really need to put something in the refrigerator because shit is getting melted I already ate uh, one or two sour things and it almost killed me and there's even the sourest thing in the world uh, according to the um, packaging itself even has a challenge on it so stack of CDs right first one is a uh, cardboard sleeve between uh, integrity and power trip and he got this on a vinyl as I can recall and I got the very nice looking CD which is looking very, oh geez, looking very cool power trip side and the integrity side looks cool I know power trip has been making name for themselves for a, a couple of years right now which is really fucking awesome then I've got this one as well this is unity a unity through sickness part 2 and this one I have actually been searching for because uh, a borning, uh, deluded mind, gutted, crepitation and cover on this and I even saw a post-mortal possession on it so this is really really good brutal death metal slash a little bit of grindy stuff even came with two stickers which is awesome and the CD as well so really fucking cool and then you saw the Oort patch, there's the Oort CD in as well. As far as I can remember this is some um, uh, atmospheric black metal CD right there. Then he came up with a small band called Phobocosm, uh, released by Dark Descent, um, black and death metal I want to say, as far as I can remember. So thank you Lonnie for this one as well. And then we've got Ice Alert with Isolated Soul uh, released from Metal Throne Productions I want to say. Uh, yeah this is probably black metal as well so. Yeah. There you go. At the back. So then we got a split between Anticipate and Pandemic Genocide called Nightmare Land. And this is a grindcore band. I, this is one to say a black and thrash band or a thrash band. So, really cool. The inside and the back side. And this is some dark rock, I want to say. Uh, blackened rock. And that's also the name of the uh, band called Black Rock. It is currently sorry, in my CD player. So really looking forward to listening to this even further. Then this is Exile with Hate Night. Haven't heard of this band either. Um, so I guess some death metal I want to say trashy death metal or something so uh, this is what weapons bring to war encrypted records this can be hardcore uh, I think I haven't looked it up but either way I'm intrigued so. then this one has a little funny story um, because I went to a buddy of mine a few days ago um, Friday, Wednesday or Sunday and he showed me like dude you really need to check this out this um, this is some really 
really good stuff and I put it in my one list on Discogs and it was already on my way without knowing it, it was already on the way without me knowing that Lonnie sent this to me this is Astaroth with Gateway Microcoms I'm really intrigued by the album cover and then my buddy put it up and the music was amazing so check out Astaroth with Gateway Microcosm then we have a band uh, from Savart Records, Murder Records, um, then you know, it's Brutal Death Metal. This band is called Asylum with an architecture of human desolation. I'm really intrigued by this. Uh, the band logo is a little bit different than the regular Brutal Death Metal uh, stuffies. So, really intrigued by that. Then we have Desaria, I want to say. Yeah, very minimalistic artwork, but either way, if you have the moon and you have trees and snow, it's a black metal album anyway. So, but I don't think I think this is like symphonic black metal or something. Um, so, it's going to be a fun listen to. Then we have a band called Mordred. I want to say something like that with Under the Black Frost. I don't know what it is, I think it's black metal. So, it's gonna be fun. Listen to this. Then he sent me a band uh, that I've been seeing on the internet a long, long time ago. And it is Eisenberg. Uh, with, I believe, their self-titled EP and the debut EP as well. Um, yeah, Heisenberg, I don't think I need to explain that, um, what it's, the theme is about. I do like the Heineken logo made into Heisenberg, which is cool. Um, so, this is some slammy, brutal death metal stuff, which is really, really cool. Then, I know this band from um, by name, but I can't remember uh, as we speak. Wait, okay. Uh, this is uh, this will destroy you live in Reykjavik. This is a really cool packaging, and as far as I can remember, this is reflecting the church that is on. Um, in the right you fix somewhere so the last two cities um, this is legacy of emptiness over the past released by black rhyme records which is really awesome that Lonnie sent this to me because I think this one is sold out and even the first press black line records released some amazing stuff but I haven't been able to buy it because I don't know why and the last one, which I'm the happiest about, because I love, love, love this band. This is Hunter No with uh, Metal Koch. Yeah. Uh, this is some French black metal, medieval black metal, with a little twist, which is really, really awesome. Alright. Lolly, I want to say a million, million thanks to you, because you sent this to me, and I adore every single little bit of it you are another it's insane what you've sent me uh, I want to say I want to give you some more back but your collection is like a million times bigger than mine so I'll be just giving you double stuff but I think I will send you some Dutch candy or something uh, to make up for it uh, so Thank you so much Lonnie, uh, go to subscribe to that guy, you probably already know him, but either way, thank you for watching, thanks for watching this video, awesome, go check out Lonnie um, and see you in the next video, bye.